And this is such an important and timely gathering. I want to begin with gratitude most of all to the Toronto Community Benefits Network for hosting today and for this invitation to speak this morning and to welcome you all. Here you are today at our uh, Community Benefits Summit. It's been five years. This is unprecedented. This little thing called community benefits that actually started in the US. Yes, Toronto had had uh, some deeper roots in Toronto now, but it is getting a Southern Ontario and indeed a Canada-wide focus. So summits like this that bring together stakeholders from across the GTHA are really important because we're able to learn from one another. One key takeaway was that you need to be specific and that you need to hold the organizations that you are partnering with and making these agreements with. You need to be monitoring and holding them accountable. There need to be some concrete goals that are achievable and um, then that are demonstrated as well. And in that monitoring, it needs to be really clear that the equity deserving groups for which the agreement was established are the ones who are benefiting. How many of you want every contract municipal, provincial, federal, anytime we build, we want a community benefit agreement in it. How many of you want that? You should all be standing up, no? <laughs> Look around you. CBAs have been able to secure young people in many uh, communities meaningful and gainful employment, not just to build their communities by the construction industry and whatnot, but after the fact, let's say you're gonna build a hospital, many CBAs have stipulations that a good number of percentage has to go back to high um, local individuals and young people obviously are part of those communities. And so CBAs have already shown tremendous uh, impact in supporting young people. And like I said, there's so much more that they can do to ensure young people in the city are, uh, are supported, especially our equity deserving young people. Two American capitalists who have seen the light, Nick Hanauer and Eric Beanhawker, gave a great definition of prosperity a few years ago. They said, prosperity in a society is the accumulation of solutions to human problems, not the accumulation of wealth by individuals. Community benefits are this kind of a solution, the kind that makes a society more prosperous. It's very important that you know people that are like-minded, that are that are uh, engaged in the process of uh, bringing benefits to community, are, are coming together and collaborating. They're sharing. Uh, there is the energy and the space that is just contributing to new ideas, uh, sharing best practices, sharing the lessons learned and the challenges, and we're starting to build the connections needed to uh, support one another uh, to create a better Toronto. Representatives from government, the GTHA municipalities, community organizations, development groups, stakeholders, unions, agencies and corporations should stand ready, willing and able to work with TCBN, PCBN and HCBN to support their qualified minimum targets for these major projects to provide opportunities for equity deserving groups including black indigenous and other racialized communities there is development happening across the gtha and as developers as labor unions as community organizations working in these communities it's really important that we're learning from one another's experiences and understanding how um, we can implement like best practices to ensure that communities that we're building and are getting the benefits uh, of investment.